Say uncle. Yeah, so I don't know if you remember those kids. I was probably one of them, actually. You ever remember me sitting on you, twisting your nipple, and saying, say, call me uncle? <laughs> yeah, so, um, just with with regards to the what to call God. So, especially when you want to be a fisherman, you know, a fisher for men, like Jesus says, go, um, go fish for me, go, go. Or make you fishers of men, right? So, you want to go out and you got some bait, right? And uh, if you're an English speaking person, you've got to use English literature or Bibles so that you can explain it to somebody else in a simple fashion because they're only newbies, right? They're just learning, all right? So, they need it nice and easy because God's not an easy subject, all right? If, if He was easy, then He, you know, wouldn't be worth put it in your head and wouldn't be God would he so so yeah so that's why I prefer the term God and whatever is written in the Bible just use the words in the Bible <clears throat> so if if you were to let's say bring a friend over right and you just cooked a nice big dinner and um, you know you're enjoying your dinner sort of thing but you go to the fridge and you get some old cold dinner and you give that to your friend, you go, there you go, there's your dinner, and they go, how come I can't have that, oh no, well, they go, how come you're giving me this, and you go, oh, I don't eat that, you know, but yeah, it's good for you, but I don't eat that, <laughs> so, yeah, so if you're going to give somebody the Bible, and then tell them, but don't trust these words, right, because you've got to say these words over here, or whatever, then you're not giving them God, you're giving them confusion, which is not God, so... So yeah, so when you know if you if you're gonna use Yahoo, all right, um, that's great. But like even the Jews were fearful of using uh, using this this sort of names and stuff. Well, they must have had issues with it too. So you'll see here it says, oh, it's in Strong's. So uh, you get the word Yahoo, right? And you go to this Bible Hub and use the thing, and it shows results for it. None, zero. Is like, what is it? I typed it in here, right? Type it in there, and you get nothing. So I went and got the 306, and I put that in there, and I was like, ah, oh, okay, Yoho Vavo, right? So it's not your, it's this one here. Um, but that one, they got Yehu, Yehova, Yehova. Well, oh, that's starting to sound like the Latin one. All right, so Yehovah, Yehovah. So it's the pronunciation, right, that everyone's having difficulties with. Um, and then you got comes from this, Havyah, Peruk uh, to become, which I guess more or less means self-existence. You know, brings yourself into existence. So. So you want to give a Bible to someone and then tell them, but don't use the word God, you've got to use this more complicated one that just blows your head off. <coughs> and, and you've got to say it perfect way, otherwise, you know, you can't summon him properly. <laughs> so, uh, now, so the, the thing is, the reason why um, you have names in the first place, names are descriptions. It, it's like, that's why God's got so many different names. They're all... They're all different descriptions of different things he does. Saviour and, you know, wonderful God. All, all, all these different names, right? Just to describing who he is. Now, you can say all these different names, but if you say Jesus, everybody knows who Jesus is. And that's the whole point of the Bible and religion, is to be able to share it nice and easily and everybody gets it. And um, from there, they start their walk with God, and they can carry on, and off, off they go, right? You've watered them, you've planted the seed, you've watered them, you've given them something they can keep feeding themselves. You've got long-lasting fertilizer, what do you call it? Slow release. <laughs> Slow release fertilizer. <clears throat> uh, you've given it to them. Um, you've made it all nice and simple, all right, and shown them how he's a loving God, and he's done, you know, those things for us, and came down from heaven and sent his son down from heaven 
to come and save us, uh, his son who happens to be the creator of all things and um, in the beginning all things were made through him and blah blah blah. So that's the thing. So um, for, for you guys under the system, you must say this name or that name and then give somebody a Bible and tell them to tell them to trust the Bible but you don't trust the Bible. I don't trust the Bible. I, I don't use that words. Then um, you're not instilling a solid foundation into them because what you need is a solid foundation. You, you can never have your faith perfected unless you can trust God can give you his perfect word. <clears throat> well, which is why everybody's working on it. We, we are all um, Bible studying every day, aren't we? Aren't you guys? You're all Bible studying every day, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we're all doing it every day. And, and uh, we're learning that we're not as smart as we think we are because we keep learning new stuff. So um, that's the thing about the Bible. It's, uh, I don't think, I don't think you'd ever learn learn all of it. It just keeps. There's always something more to find. You, it's unbelievable, especially the KJV. <laughs> yeah, I know that irks some people, but it is until you've seen the studies that we've all seen, or if you keep looking, you'll see. You're gonna find some um, miraculous stuff. It's miracles. So you just can't believe it. It's just so amazing. So yeah, so if you're out there fishing for people and you give them a Bible, just trust in the Bible. If you show them that you trust in it yourself, then you're going to catch more fish, right? And these, and these go under crowns for you later on. If you're insisting on using a Hebrew word and making English people use it, they don't even know what that word means, right? Um, it's pointless. You, you're not you're not catching a big harvest you're just getting a maybe one or two fish that agree with you and then they'll go off and they'll be making everybody else say that name too because that's all you're doing is giving them a religion say this name religion what you should be giving them is God you know just give them God and let God worry about it <clears throat> all right God bless <laughs>